checking it out, that rub it up styling. Fat Titan. to be here today Adam. Excellent, you're very chilled, I like that. It's I a like good vibe. It. I've been waiting to come in here for some time actually, so. You, it's actually, you've been out in the office for quite a while as well, kind of giving out <laughs> stuff as well. And you're, you're, you enjoyed the mashup, you enjoyed the Mona. Mash oh up. yes, oh yes, it's all about Craig. Bring him, bring him back. I reckon you should do, you should cover Hey Mona, Craig McLean. I might just put that in my next set actually. Why, yeah, why ever not? It'll be a winner, it'll be a crowd pleaser. Now, uh, let's get a bit of background about yourself, because uh, you've been involved in, in music for quite some time now, but a different kind of music from the stuff that you're doing now, is that right? That is correct, yes, yes. I've been doing, uh, for about 17 years, I've been doing rock music, uh, variants from heavy, 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 heavy rock to really mellow rock. But also I've done, you know, some kind of chilled out stuff. And uh, yeah, so I'm here from 17 ye years on. Uh, doing acoustic folk alternative jive. <laughs> jive, excellent. Now, are you doing that as well as stuff with bands and the more heavy stuff as well, or are you trying to focus more on your, on your solo stuff now? Well, at the moment, we're still doing a band which I'm in called My Life in the Making. Uh, we're, still, we're still writing stuff and, and we're still gigging. Uh, we've got a next gig on, on the 19th of February, actually, in, uh, in the Warmer Castle in Deal. Excellent. Um, but I really love and enjoy playing with Paul Brassington, who's with me to the right on the violin. Paul. <laughs> um, and yeah, so we're just, I mean, at the moment we're, we're writing songs and we're gigging and we're getting out there and trying to be as, as proactive as possible, really, and get our sound out there. So do you write songs together or is it something which you do separately and kind of bring things to the table? How, how does it work? Well, it's, it's uh, basically I, I'll write some tunes, uh, you know, maybe finish some songs, some songs, uh, with just a few riffs, with some vocal melodies, and then I'll take him to Paul, and Paul will get involved and uh, start putting his magic to it. And what kind of stuff inspires you, either either to write or to get out and help play gigs? What stuff is your inspiration? Well, uh, if it was musicians, if it was musicians, I've got a very very eclectic range of tastes. Right. Um, but I love uh, a musician called Imogen Heap. Oh yes, fantastic. Yeah. She is just. Amazing, I love her to death. Mm, yeah. And uh, likes of Glenn Hansen, who's an Irish, Irish uh, guitarist, vocalist. He was in a film called Once. Okay. Damien Rice. Yeah. Um, you know, some really kind of progressive, emotional music, and that's what inspires me. That stuff that invokes emotion in people, mm. whether it be most of the time, I write really sad and kind of melancholy music, and, and that I suppose that's more my forte than the, than the upbeat, happy tunes. I'm not too good on that. Well, let's find out for ourselves. We're going to hear a live track now. What are you going to play for us? Uh, I'm going to play uh, a song called Wake Up Call, uh, which is off my debut EP. It should be out this year. Excellent. This is Ted Clark, Whipple, live, KMFM. <laughs> Should have been 
Soon, yeah. This is correct. Yes. And it's called. Uh, what's it called? Angles, Angles of Elevation. Where'd that title come from? What's the uh, background behind it's that? Kind of, uh, it's kind of. It's kind of tongue-in-cheek idea <laughs> on uh, everything being fantastic, but it's uh, yeah, it's it's kind of. Well, it's a bit too deep. To, <laughs> to, I can't really go into it right now. Forget about that. Let's, let's talk about the kind of stuff we can expect from the album then and the, the EP and and, and uh, what. How would you describe what it's going to be all about? How would you kind of sum it up? Well, I mean, uh, as an album, I've been writing. It's been writing for for, for years, and, and they say you know you spend a lifetime creating your first album, and that's basically what I'm trying to do: is take my time and and produce the best songs that I possibly can, and hopefully they'll be accessible to people, and people can connect with them, and you know, kind of get my stories and 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 the vibes that I want to kind of encapsulate within an album mm -hmm. the highs the lows you know the ups the downs that it's yeah it's going to be an emotional rollercoaster yeah